wish me luck. Hey guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Hard Knocks Performance. This video is going to be a continuation of the first video where we fabricated the body support so that we can get the vehicle on the rotisserie. So the first video focused on showing the fabrication of the cross car supports and today we're going to focus on the fore aft. So we'll go ahead and walk you through how we do that. So very similar to what we did on the cross car section, we're going to use an old piece of angle iron as a makeshift bracket. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of a height difference between um, the position for this fastener and this one. So I'm just going to use this old piece of scrap metal here um, to fill that gap. And I'm going to secure it to the vehicle. And this just gives us um, the ability to weld on the two inch tubing. So I'm just going to hand start and then I'll go back in and secure. Okay, so now that we've installed the bracket to the vehicle, we just need to know how long the piece of tubing needs to be. So that's going to be just from this position. So right around... 66 and a half inches. Okay, we have our piece of tubing cut. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and placed the tubing into the larger two inch tube and positioned it um, approximately where we want it to go, we're just going to measure um, about an inch back and then we'll use a drill press to go ahead and drill the hole where we're going to put our pin through. So, um, yeah. I really could just measure it on the bench. <laughs> Don't throw that at me. I got lucky with the pen. <laughs> Threw a little. 
little bit of Hard Knocks performance movie magic, we went ahead and drilled that um, placement hole in first. So, what we're going to do here is go back in with, um, with the drill. So then that way the holes perfectly line up and we don't have to worry about any um, winking condition. All right, now for the nerve wracking part. I'm gonna go ahead and tack weld the two inch tubing of the cross car to the two inch tubing of the fore aft. So, wish me luck. Okay, so for the tubing, for the bracing that we're going to use on the HVAC side, we're going to go ahead and use these two holes here. So um, we're going to go ahead and cut the angle iron approximately 8 inches to give us enough room from hole to hole. So I'm just going to position the angle iron to line up with the holes and then I'm going to go in from the back to um, mark up right around where they're at. So this... bracket with the two holes cut out. We have our washers and our screws. So we're going to line it up to the H back side. Okay, so next step is we're going to measure the distance from the HVAC holes that we're going to use back so that we know how long our piece of tubing needs to be. Seventy six inches, seventy six and a half.
I think I nailed it this time. <laughs> it's better. Yeah? It's better. Okay, so now that we have both of our crossbars, um, we're gonna go ahead and just drill the holes on both sides so that we can add a pin to each. So I'll start with the driver's side. Okay, now that we have the holes drilled in, we have our pins, we'll just go ahead and install them. One there. Whoops. And start. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten up the set screws. Okay, that side is tight. guys now that we've installed our pins and secured it um, it feels really sturdy so I think we did a really good job on this so the only thing that we I don't want to say may what we do need to do moving forward um, is that we will need to add um, another piece of tubing to locate to the seatbelt holes and then uh, well they're 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 all seatbelt holes just so we can locate it later on um, because you can see that there's a lot of rust on the floor pan and we'll very likely have to remove a large section of it so in the in the event that we do have to cut it out then we'll have um, our point of reference moving forward so with that being said I think that wraps it up for this video and I guess we'll see you guys in the next one so thanks for watching bye Amateur hour here. <laughs>